Now you can use Filmora Go 100% for free, however towards the end of this video I will be showing you guys some of the pro features. What's up guys, the text bot here, and today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys a great free app for basically making videos and editing videos on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And all right, so without wasting any time, let's open up the App Store, and this app is called Filmora Go Video Editor and Maker. It's amazing for basically editing your videos on the go, again, on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Here are some screenshots, and we're gonna go ahead and download I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use it, and it's very, very simple and easy to use. Okay, so once downloaded, there it is on my home screen, Filmora Go. Let's go and open it up, and here's what it looks like. So, allow notifications. I'm gonna hit allow, you can do whatever you want. Okay, let's give me a little, little screenshot or a little video of uh, this video editor, and it's really, really cool. We get a little cool little cinematic. So, this could do a lot. It's very powerful. They really put a lot of work into this video editor, and it's great that you could do this on the go. So, you guys can see all the effects that they put in. It's really quite nice. Anyways, once we are in, you guys can see right here, create your first video. You can tap on the camera button to actually want to record a video if you want to just do it on the go from here, or you can tap on cancel and create a new product if you already have your video. So, ask for access to your photos, of course. Hit OK. You can see it shows up all my videos and stuff and photos. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click on a video. Let's do, for example, this one. Let's do that one. Tap here to edit in advance. So you can tap on the little scissor icon. I can also go ahead and select another one. And if I tap on the scissor icon, you can see I can go ahead and edit the video right here. I can go ahead and trim it and do some other edits right there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on the X. And I'm gonna select some other ones too. So I have that one selected. Let's also do this one right here. All right, so once we got a clip selected from our video camera roll, we can hit import and just like that. And we're gonna import them and there we are. So super cool, very easy to use. So you can see I have my video on the top over there. I can actually go ahead and scrub through it right here. Or I can tap on the play button to view it in the actual video format, just like that. And that's really awesome. I can also gonna make it full screen to see how it looks like in on my full screen, of course. Let's go back over here. There's also an undo and redo button. And there you can also go ahead and tap on this button on the top right to choose the export setting. So for the free version, we could choose 720p. And if you buy the pro version for 299, you can also unlock 1080p as well as many other features inside this app. So that's really cool. You can also choose a frame rate too, which is again super easy. All I gotta do is select right there. You can also do this in a free version version, which is awesome. I'm going to excited there. I can also going to tap on this button right here, and this is how you export it, all right? So you're going to continue export. Now, again, on the free version, it will have a watermark saying edited on Filmora Go, but on the pro version, if you do buy it, you can go and remove that watermark, so that's nice too. And yeah, so you do get a lot of features in the free version as well, but if you do have the pro version, it's definitely worth it. Again, there's that Filmora Go watermark that you do get if you do have the free version. Now, at the bottom right here, we actually have a bunch of options. So first off, we have trim, so I can tap on this trim option I'm actually going to trim my video so I can make it start over here or adjust my clips basically and also you could go ahead and split a clip so if let's say you want to cut it right there I'm going to split it and also going to cut it right here let's go and tap it and hit split again now I could delete this part right here so I can go and tap on it and delete that part or whatever I want to do I could copy it I could also going to rotate it and adjust the volume right there as well so I could adjust the volume which is really cool so it's super simple to use I really love the interface it's really quite incredible how much you could do with this you could go and add text so I could be like this is boogle um, I spelled that wrong. Google, check, and there you go. I go and edit my text right here, put it at the top right there, and you can see it actually being added to my timeline, so I can go and adjust where it appears by stretching it or just narrowing it down, which is really cool. I can go and move it around, and also if I go down over here, I can also change the font, so you can see if I swipe over, there it is, font. I can choose different fonts, I can make it bold, and you can see it's now bold, so that is super, super cool. And also I can go and align it, so I can find middle, if I want it on the left, I could tap on the left button, and I can also change the color, so I could tap on color, let's say we want to make it, uh, I'm gonna make it blue, okay, so I'm gonna tap on blue, just like that, it changed the color to blue. Super simple to use. Spacing, you can also go and add a shadow, and basically all the text effects as well. So this is really cool. I can literally edit my entire video using this app, and it would still look good. You guys would not be able to tell. You can even go and add a border or stroke on the text. So let's say I want to make it black, and I could go and make that border thicker or thicker just by moving that slider. I can see it adds and removes that border. So that's super cool. Let's keep it around right there. That looks so nice, okay. I see, I see, all right. And you can add an animation to it too. So let's say you wanted to kind of fade in, okay? 
you can see now it kind of fades in and just so simple to use guys look at that look at that now it's going down with that effect so that's super super cool all right so i can also going to rotate it if i want to but i'm just going to leave it like that all right so now i'm going to go back over here you can see i could also add a sticker so i'm going to tap on that sticker and let's go in and just do let's say um i want you guys to like the video okay so i'm going to put this over here all right and it's going to pop up in the video you guys see that Boom, okay, and I can hit check mark and adjust where I want it to be placed. So I want it to be placed, uh, let's say, towards the front of the video. So I'm just gonna move it. Let's tap and hold, actually. And move it, tap and hold, move it. And I can also go and readjust how long it is. So I can just gonna move the slider right here. And I want it to go away as soon as the text Google appears. So I'm just gonna move it over here. And let's give haptic feedback. So every time I move that little cursor or make, make, make it smaller or bigger, it does vibrate on my phone. So it feels really nice when editing too. So now if I go ahead and play my video from the beginning, yeah, I can see, boom, like, and Google comes down. So yeah, super cool. Now there are just so many free stickers that you guys could use, and there's even a store if you do want to have more different packs of stickers, which is really cool. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back over here. Let's go tap on the back button. You can also go and add music. So I'm gonna tap on the music button right there. Yeah, I could see, I could tap on my music, and I could choose from these libraries right here. So I can even go to iTunes and go from there, but I'm not gonna go there, but uh, actually I'll say, okay, okay. So this is the music I have on my Apple Music. I kind of don't use Apple Music anymore, so that's why it's not really showing that much, but let's just use a copyright free music, okay? So let's go and tap on this right here. All right, that one sounds good. Yeah, that one sounds good. So all I gotta do is tap on that plus button next to it, but there are also sound effects that I can see right here. I'm gonna tap on them to view them. Um, let's go and see. Oh, okay, so that's a glitch one. Ah, it's a little loud. All right, cool. All right, pause that. Let's go and try head. Uh, see what that sounds like. Oh, no, I actually have to download this one. So you have to do that, download these ones first, and these ones already have downloaded, so I can go and see what that sound like. And there's a broken screen. Let me go and turn that up for you guys. You guys can see that. And also, again, back to music. There is a bunch of music that guys could use, and this is completely free to use, so it's really cool. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's copyright free music as well. So again, you can download these, so let's go and see what we have already downloaded. Yep, it's copyright free music, so this is nice to be able to just put this in your video very easily. Let's go try this one. I'm ah, maybe going to pause that one. All right. Oh, I don't have it downloaded. Okay, I need to download it. To download it, let's go ahead and tap on it. And we're going to download it real quick, as you guys can see right there. These are the free ones that are available, and this one is called Lullaby, so let's go see. Yeah, all right. So again, you can go to your iTunes too, and this is my iTunes library that's and downloaded on my phone. So I'm gonna go to Retrovision and hit that plus icon next to it. And again, I can adjust it using this right here. And again, it does vibrate every time I move it, which is cool. And I like that feeling a lot. So now I'm gonna play it. That is awesome. All right, now let's say the music is too loud. I'm actually gonna tap on it, tap on the sound icon, and adjust the volume. So let's say I wanna put it um, right there at 78, okay? I'm gonna play it again. You can see it's quieter. Let's make it louder, actually. And uh, there you go. Wow, okay, pretty cool. And again, there's an undo button and redo button right there. Again, I can view it in full screen as well. So hit play. Awesome. Now you can see I also have the option to fade in the music so it kind of fades in instead of just starting abruptly and also fade out so it kind of lightly just drowns out the music at the end. All right. So you can see if I'm going to play it now, it kind of is silent and it slowly goes up. Awesome. That's a perfect fade. Anyways, you can also go to mark parts of your video right here so you can again mark it. So if there's an edit that you need to make there, you go to mark it, which is nice. Now it's actually going to add a sound effect. So I'm going to go back to effect over here. Let's use, for example, broken glass and I'm going to add it right there. Let's say I want him to go like basically sound like the grass is, glass is breaking. Okay. So watch this. Oh, he broke the glass. He broke the glass. All right, so there it is. Now let's go back over to the main menu. 
So back again, you can see there's so much more you could do. So again, we were trimming, we added music, we added text, we added stickers, and we could also add a filter. So I'm gonna tap on filter, and I could see there's a store where you could download a bunch of different filters, and this is really nice. And if you go back, you can also go in and tap on this filter right here, and there are different filters that are available for free. So again, tap on the icon, and then choose one of these filters. So let's do, for example, how about the blue one? Nah, that's a little too sad. It's gonna move on to like a warmer color one, but not too warm. And you can also adjust the filter right here, so you can put it all the way or less. And I'm just gonna do, let's make Google yellow, how about that? <laughs> Actually, what does this purple one look like? Nah. Oh, that one's kinda cool too, but I think I'm gonna need to tone it down a bit. All right, there we go. All right, that's awesome. All right, cool. Let's go back over here. Let's go back. And there's also an option for picture in picture. So let's say you're doing a reaction video, okay? So all you gotta do is tap on this button right here and go to bring in your reaction part. So for example, I'm just gonna do, uh, I don't know. Let's do this golf clip right there. All right, so I'm gonna go and add that in imports. Just to show you guys how it works. So you know, I guess it works. Picture in picture, so you guys can see, I could go ahead and make the small right there. I could go ahead and put this little video um let's do over there yeah yep right there is good okay so you can also gonna rotate it make it bigger or smaller and uh anyways i'm gonna go back over here whoops i just copied it so i just say copy and already pasted it so i'm gonna tap on undo to undo that anyways let's go back and let's go ahead and play this real quick because we did add two things we added the filter and we added the picture in picture so now two videos are playing in one so i think we actually need to go and export it so let's go ahead and see how it looks in full screen all right, there you go. There you go, now it's working. Of course, it will be much better on your iPad. And yes, you also do have a different effect. So I'm gonna move over here, for example, and let's also add an effect now. So let's go over and there are effects. So tap on effect and there's a glitch effect and so many more that I could choose from. So for example, I'm gonna do this one right here. Look at that, it kind of glitches out. So I'm gonna add that in. And you can see kind of, watch this. This is what effect does. And again, there's so many other effects that you guys can choose from, so... Alright, there it is. So it kind of glitches out. That's a glitch effect. And of course, for your color correction, you can also go and tap on adjust right here at the very end. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the temperature, and all that good stuff. So all you gotta do again is tap on it and adjust it. So I'm gonna go and move my cursor. Uh, right there and uh, you guys can see I can make it brighter or lighter you guys can see my videos are usually look like this <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. All uh, right. I try to tone down the exposure of my videos now But I can also go tap on this option to choose the contrast you can see make it more or less contrasty So keep right there temperature so I can make it warmer or cooler Keep it right there and I can even adjust the saturation so I can go right there and make it more colorful or less colorful by adjusting that slider. Now, last but not least, I can also go and tap on canvas and I can tap right here to adjust the aspect ratio. So let's say I want one to one. I can see adjusted to that. I can also go and change it to this or let's make it widescreen. And yeah, so this is really cool. Now I kind of recorded like this in portraits, so I don't want to do that for this video. But going back, I can also go and tap on background. You guys can see I could add a blur and I can also change the color. So this is really cool too. So I can make it blue right there and I can make it uh, this kind of teal color or this color. Uh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Let's make it blue. All right, so I think this one looks the best right here. Let's go keep it as there. And now our video is ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit it or export it. So I'm gonna tap on the share button and I'm gonna continue the export. And just like that, it is exporting our video. You can see 2%. Once it's at 100%, our video will be exported and we can upload it to YouTube or just do whatever we want with it. So it's starting to go up and export pretty quick now. The export time is not bad at all. It's actually really, really fast. Anyways, it's almost done, and there we go. Now you can execute, we can put it on Instagram, we can share it to YouTube, Facebook, and you can also continue editing if you want to, or you can select more and save it to your camera roll. So let's go and actually save the video to our camera roll by tapping on that option. Now we're back back over here to our video. I can actually go, and go back, and I can see there's my video project right there. If I wanna go back and re-edit it, I can go back into here, and there we go. Simple as that. I can also go and start multiple projects and just keep them all over here. And I can also go and tap on the store option to be able to have more features. And there are so many nice features that you guys can go and install from here through the store as well. You got also got the cyberpunk little effect, which is awesome. And yes, yeah, so much more. You can remove the watermark. You could go and export in 1080p and so much more. And he was over to our photos and there it is. So I can go over here, boom, there it is guys.
And yeah, it's a full video. So you can see, I've got the second clip right there. And yeah, so all the effects and everything work perfectly fine. And it's just so cool. Again, from here, I can also can tap on the share button. I can upload it to YouTube and do all that good stuff. Now with that out of the way, let's go and take a look at some of the pro features. So first off, I'm gonna go back over here and I did make a new project with a new clip right here and that's all I did so far. So you can see there is a clip and so yeah, it was like a little Christmas house with like custom lighting and everything like that. It was pretty cool. All right, but anyways, if we head back over to the store, you guys can see, first off, on the bottom right, these are the custom filters, so you guys can see, I did install the Cyberpunk filter. I think it's definitely worth it, so let's go and take a look at some of the filters. For example, let's head over to Landscape, and you guys can see, we got a bunch of different filters that look really, really cool. So look at that. That looks awesome, so I can apply them. And now let's go and tap on Cyberpunk. So over here in Cyberpunk, we do have a bunch of different filters too, so you guys can see, if I go in and tap through these, there are a bunch of different filters that you guys can use, so it looks really, really cool. Look at that, guys. You guys can see with the pro version, you also do get a bunch of custom sticker packs as well, including the retro pack and the video game pack. You even got baby kit stickers and so many more. Now, over in your stickers, we got the preset ones, so the kind of default stickers that you have. But now, if I scroll over, these are the ones that I installed with the pro version. So again, there's so many. I'm going to go over to video game, for example. You guys can see I could add a sticker, and look at that. How about hashtag or a burger or I could add a banana you have the Japanese graduation so look at that that is so cool again another one a pencil so again it's going to tap on any one of these boom I also going to add let's say this one and this looks like bacon all right and a heart now next if you go to tools you guys can see I also have the remove watermark and logo so every time I export a video it will no longer have that Filmora Go watermark on the bottom right and over here I can also export in 1080p now that I have that option first tap right here and you guys can see I have the 1080p option now so there it is and I also do not have any watermarks so there will be no Filmora Go watermark I'm just going to export it you guys can see right here and it will start exporting it without a watermark, which is super, super cool. So again, going back to the free version over here, you guys can see the video that I exported that I made before. On the bottom right, I do have a watermark, so it says Filmora Go. So you, to remove that, you do have to have the pro version. And that, guys, is a Filmora Go video editing app. Again, it's available under iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And it's really pretty incredible. I love it, actually. Like, I'm being honest with you. It's a great app. So if you want to edit under iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, get Filmora Go. Link will be down below in the description. This is the Tech Spot, and peace out.